All right, today we're talking about the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus and how to take it apart, do a basic field strip for your maintenance. Now, don't forget to check our maintenance schedule. We got the link below. Make sure you're doing this enough. Too much buildup of dirt, lack of lubrication can cause this gun to malfunction just like with any other semi-automatic gun. So, First things first, we have to make sure this gun is completely empty. We're gonna press our magazine release button here, drop the magazine, remove, set to the side. Make sure there's no ammunition in the area whatsoever. Put it all in a different room while you do this process here. Then we're gonna press straight up towards the top of the gun on your slide stop lever right here, and then pull all the way back on the slide so that it locks to the rear like so. And we're gonna check the chamber. We're gonna make sure it is completely empty visually and physically inspect that there's no ammunition in the gun whatsoever and we're ready to take it apart now the smith and wesson belongs to a group of family i like to call the takedown lever family that's your takedown lever right there a lot of other guns are going to break apart like this they're going to be your smith and wesson your m p series smith and wessons uh, your sig sours the 365s the 320s so if you have a gun and you notice that you have a lever up here towards the front of the muzzle, you might just have the key to taking that one apart as well. If you know how to do it with this gun here, it's pretty simple. We already have the slide locked to the rear. So we did the hard part first. Now we have to take this takedown lever right here. If it's a brand new gun, it's going to be stiff. We're gonna take it and you got little ridges right here where you can get your thumb. We're gonna flip it straight down. My goodness, <laughs> that one was a little stiff. But you'll notice how now the takedown lever is pointed straight down towards the bottom of the gun. Now the gun is unlocked and it's ready to be taken apart. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab onto the slide. We're gonna send it forward. We're gonna grab onto the slide, pull back, ease it forward in a safe direction, pull the trigger. That's gonna unlock the slide from the frame and we slide it on off. This is as far as we're going with the frame. So we can set that off to the side. We're not doing anything more with that today. Again, this is a basic field strip for standard maintenance that you would be doing at home. Now, what we've got left is the slide, the recoil spring right here, and then underneath the recoil spring trapped in is the barrel. So the first thing we have to do is take the recoil spring out. To do that, you're just gonna get your index finger right around the edge of that spring, compress it back towards yourself, lift it up and out. It's a captured spring, so there's no real risk of it compressing and flying off somewhere. Set that down somewhere where it won't roll away. That's close enough. Now, the barrel is no longer captured in. We can grab it by the lug, lift up, push out, lift up and out. All right, you've got the gun completely taken apart now. You can conduct your cleaning. This is not a specifically cleaning video, but you would add cleaning solution to all your metal surfaces and even some plastic ones inside the frame here. Let that sit for a minute or two, wipe it off with a clean rag, add some oil to some key parts. All right, so what are we talking about key parts? Well, we're talking about parts that create friction when the gun is cycling, when that slide is moving backwards and forwards. So places like the wings right here on the frame, the wings back here on the frame, Interestingly enough, the outside of the barrel lug as well, a little bit of oil. You should just leave a sheen behind. It does not need to be soaking wet by any stretch of the imagination. That can actually run against what you want it to do. And when it comes to the slide itself, the underside on this Shield Plus, you'll actually notice that there are a couple dimples inside there. That underside of the slide could use a little bit of oil as well as along the rails that run on the inside of either side of the slide. Once you've done that, it's time to put it back together and you just do it all in reverse order. So you take your slide first, you're going to take your barrel, the pointy sides of the lugs facing up towards you when you're holding the slide upside down and you're going to drop it in. It's going to slide into that bottom opening, cut into the slide, and then you set it back into place, just like so. You'll hear a small click. If at any point during that process getting the barrel back in there, it feels stuck, don't force it. If you try to put the barrel down and it goes like this and you can't move it anymore, it doesn't need more force. It needs you to back it out 
and try it again. It'll slide in without any resistance whatsoever if it's angled correctly. Then you take your recoil spring, the fat side's gonna face you, and the end of that fat side is going to go in to the other hole that the barrel didn't occupy right there. Push it in, you'll feel resistance, and you're gonna squeeze it down until it locks in to the barrel lug like so. You shouldn't be able to wiggle it easily, but it is not locked in there permanently. So if you move it too hard, yes, it will slip off to the side, but it shouldn't easily move and it should look roughly parallel to the rest of the frame. That's how you know you've got it in there correctly. Now we have to put the frame back onto the slide and this is really the main tricky part for somebody who is a new shooter because we can't just reattach it and be ready to go. We have to lock the slide to the rear immediately because only with that slide locked to the rear can we reactivate our slide lock lever here. So we're gonna line up the cutouts on the back of the slide with these first cutout wings Again, just like with getting that barrel back in on the slide, if it feels like it gets stuck anywhere back here, this is not a matter of force. Take it back, realign, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It will get easier as you do this a few times. But once we get it back to here, we need to immediately start pressing up on that slide stop lever because we need that upwards pressure going as we pull all the way back on the slide to lock it to the rear. At which point in time we can take that takedown lever, which will be stiff, and flip it back to that 3 o'clock position. So we took it from pointing straight down to pointing back towards the back of the gun. The gun is now reassembled. I would recommend testing it. Make sure that the slide operates okay. Try racking it a few times. Engage your safety. If you have one, point the gun in a safe direction. Test the trigger. Good. Safety is operational. Remove the safety. Test the trigger again. Trigger is operational. You can reinsert your magazine. And you have disassembled and reassembled your Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. And again, knowing how to utilize that takedown lever, locking the slide to the rear, moving the takedown lever from the 3 to the 6 o'clock position, and then doing it in reverse as you put the gun back together, you've essentially learned how to take apart your Smith & Wesson M&P series, your Sig Sauer 320, 365 series. Um, so it's a good skill to have. Any questions at all about this video, get in touch. We've got all the links below. Stay smart, stay safe, never stop improving, and I'll talk to you guys soon.